Hello everyone, Warmack Idiot here. Now, let me continue doing this walkthrough. Charles! Hello, Allison. I was hoping to see you today. Why? Okay. Hi, Professor Xavier. How are you? I'm not sure. Being able to generate lava kind of freaks me out. Yeah. That's understandable. I wanted to let you know that I've decided. I'd like to become a student at your school. That's excellent news, Alice. You've made a very wise choice. Thank you, sir. The Institute does seem to be the best place for me. At least, for now. Now that you're a student, I'd like very much to test your mutant abilities. Test my abilities? You mean in the danger room? Yes, if you don't mind. But what if I fail? There is no grade for this test. It's merely a means to measure the full extent of your powers. That way we'll know better how to deal with your particular needs. Okay. I'll try. But don't expect much. Don't worry, Alice. Just do your best. I love Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier, guys. He's so fucking cool. One moment, guys. So here we go. Where are you going, pussy? Bitch, why are you talking to me? Cool, right, guys? So, like, comment, subscribe, guys, hit the bell to for notifications for us. Like my videos, share my videos. Above all else, enjoy the walkthrough, guys. God damn it. What the hell? You're not supposed to be hitting a lady, man. What's the matter with you? And then a line, Spider-Man.
this joke he did. Oh yeah. Let me level up this bitch. No. Danger room. <gasps> Robots. While this is only an exercise, you are in a minimal amount of jeopardy. Don't worry guys, uh, even if I die, uh, it's, not an atom, it's not a automatic game mode, just be like, ooh, you die fool! seen energy readings like this since sorry that was so random <laughs> are you all right Allison I'm fine professor Xavier and I'm really sorry about destroying the danger room I, I don't know what happened I just sort of lost control not to worry this type of thing happens all the time Besides, I think it gives Beast an excuse to make modifications to the equipment. <laughs> well, I've had enough. I'm never setting foot in the danger room again. I understand this was a very trying experience, but at some point you must try again. It's the only way you learn to master your powers. But I won't need to learn about my powers if I never use them again. That wouldn't be a wise course of action. I encourage you to take some time off and rest. When you feel better, come back to the danger room and try again. I don't know, Professor Xavier. Let me think about it. 
I used to think that like when I struggle um, um, when I was beginning how to drive and everything and my mom told me like no you can try it again and I'm like the way how Allison was that's how I did it with her with my mom but then later on like you know what fuck it let's try to yeah get used to the uh, driving because my mom won't be able to drive forever so I'm like fuck it let me drive, motherfucker! <gasps> Cyclops. Who was that woman who tried to kidnap me in New York City? Her name is Raven Darkhall, but she currently calls herself Mystique. She's a very talented shapeshifter and can assume the form of anyone she sees. For all I know, right now, you could be Mystique in disguise. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure you're you. Is she in charge of the Brotherhood? She's really more of a second in command, but for the past few years, yeah, she's been in control. Why did Mystique come after me? Professor Xavier is convinced that Mystique and the Brotherhood are up to no good. The problem is, all we can do is wait until the Brotherhood tips their hand. But what use could I be to them? We don't know, but you must have been a very important piece of the plan for Mystique to attempt to kidnap you in broad daylight. Thanks for the info, Cyclops. Anytime, Allison. Oh, okay. And I still got another flashback. Well, at least at three missions, I mean. Oh, no, not three missions. So. Greetings and salutations, Allison. Did anyone tell you what I did in the danger room? <laughs> My dear, I heard the explosions through the soundproof walls of this laboratory. Even Wolverine never managed to accomplish that feat. Hmm. I tried to apologize to Professor Xavier for all the damage. Not to worry. The danger room is always suffering one type of catastrophe or another. Besides, this would give me an excuse to replace the protonic inducers and realign the holographic image projectors. What if I never learned to control my powers? That's preposterous. Of course you can. You simply need to persevere in your training. These powers I have, they scare me. Every X-Man felt that way initially. Some of us are still struggling for control. Don't kid me. I can see it's all a breeze to you guys. You don't have any problems. I beg to differ. Rogue will never know the touch of another person. Cyclops will be forever cursed to wear his visor. And then there's Jean Grey. What about Jean Grey? In times of extreme duress, Jean has the potential to be overwhelmed by the sheer amount of power she wields. And when that happens, her personality is altered. She unlocks a malevolent entity known as the Phoenix. That sounds horrible. I am not cognizant of a word to describe just how horrible it is. Are the X-Men always jetting off to stop trouble like they did for me today? No, but there are times when trouble seeks us out, right here at the mansion. I remember a time when a certain brute named Juggernaut paid us a visit. It was less than sociable. What happened? Juggernaut's mind was set on murder. Flashback, I think. The murder of his brother. Thanks for talking to me, Beast. It's been a pleasure, my dear. Yes, sir. Juggernaut! Oh, I remember watching Deadpool 2, guys, and then... Where's Xavier? Where's my half-brother? Tell that run King Marcos come home to bring the pain! By my stars and garters, Juggernaut appears quite perturbed. Huh. We're in the sub oh, it. But we have to make sure Juggernaut doesn't make it that far. Coming through! <laughs> Uh, 
um, what's the color, guys? Yeah, like Deadpool uh, 2, the movie I saw that <laughs> Ryan Reynolds was being all fanboy on Wolverine. I mean, uh, Juggernaut is like, oh my god, it's you. I've been collecting your action figures since they ever created you. And then sooner later, Juggernaut rip Deadpool apart. But it was so funny. So that's cool. But yeah. But not me, boy. But yeah, it was so funny how Ryan Reynolds <laughs> uh, bees all fanboy and shit. <laughs> but yeah, I just I just can't wait for to see Ryan Reynolds in uh, as Deadpool in the the Marvel. What the hell? Hey, give me back my helmet! It's the only thing that keeps me safe from psychic mutants. Yes. As you can see, it's the old school X Men. But yeah. Okay, that's it. So, I'll go to the war room. Potential emergency. I received this brief transmission from Gambit a short time ago. Oh. Strange, but you are here. Warlocks are gathered. And that's no lie. Now they're coming for me. Professor, the Morlocks are after Rami. We gotta go save him. I agree, Rogue. We must proceed with caution. Who are the Morlocks? They're a tribe of mutants who have isolated themselves from the general mutant populace. They're sewer dwellers having built an entire secret society beneath the streets of Manhattan. Yes, and in doing so, they have become extremely hostile towards outsiders. I want a team to enter the sewers as quietly as possible and render aid to Gambit should he require it. Please keep contact with the Morlocks to a minimum. <laughs> a Cajun can't stay out of trouble, can he? That's a trait you two share in abundance. Yep. You get funnier by the day, Furball, you know that? No. Not your mission, X-Men. Be on your way. There's no time to waste. Old Sewers, New York City. 
now we get to go to the warlocks. Warlocks, warlocks. I don't know. Who cares? You. Now we're gonna smell like feces, piss. Uh. No. We're gonna smell like shit, piss. Uh. Toilet paper. Uh. Garbage. Uh. What else? Uh, <laughs> uh, shit, uh, hold on guys, uh, uh, let's go, more logs, uh, we're gonna smell like piss, shit, garbage, all that jazz, ah, like a, like a true American, <laughs> oh man, oh man, we got a long way to go. Oh, never mind. It's because I just want to conclude it right now, guys, because... Um, so that... I'll continue it tomorrow, and then... Oof. Alright. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time, and goodbye.